And welcome back, Haskey here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to flip the witch switch and collect the witch switch jiggy in Click Clock Wood. This one here is pretty straightforward, even though this is, you know, the last witch switch in the game. Um, if you don't know where this witch switch is, I guess you could say that you do got quite a bit of looking around to do. You know, with the four seasons and all. But it is out in the open. It's not exactly hidden. It's not in any interior areas. You don't have to flip any switches or do any fancy stuff to make the witch switch itself appear. It's actually going to be here in winter time, which is really easy to get around with because of the uh, the flight pads in winter time. And we're actually going to get a little glimpse of it here. It's right here around Nabnut's place. There it is, right there. You can see it. That's actually where a jiggy was in summertime, if you remember that. And I'm going to go ahead and take out this snowman guy just because he's kind of distracting. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I guess that's optional. You can just fly right there and uh, ground pound the witch switch. I think that witch switch is actually close enough that when you land there, the snowman will kind of stop throwing his snowballs at you. They kind of have a, a minimum range, if you will. If you get too close to them, they just kind of shut down. They just kind of stand there and do their little dance. Anyway, though, that was it as far as flipping the witch switch goes. Uh, but we're not quite done here. We still have to get all the way up into that tree out in Gruntilda's lair which uh, I think is a bit of a gotcha, if you will, in, in my opinion. Um, I remember a time I was playing this game for the first time in many years. It wasn't my first time playing it. It had just been years since I had 100% of the game. And uh, I went out there after flipping that witch switch, and I was like, there's a flight pad out here, right? And uh, I was wrong. There's, there's no flight pad out there. So I was running around looking for that flight pad, which didn't exist at all. So, of course, the secret to this is you need the B-form. Um, you're able to switch into the B-form... And while you cannot go into any of the other seasons as the bee in Click Clock Wood, you can leave the level and run around and fly around a bit out in Gruntilda's Lair. Just that room. But that room is <laughs> where we're trying to get way up high, so that's nice. Convenient. Anyway, here we are in springtime again, going into Mumbo's Hut probably for the last time. So yeah, you'll need the 25 Mumbo tokens if you have not done this transformation already, but at this point, maybe you already have. Hey, look at this. We got the, uh, we got the wishy-washy banjo transformation. I'm so glad that happened at least once in all of my Banjo-Kazooie walkthroughs. And there we go. That's, that's the form we're looking for. If you're unfamiliar with that little Easter egg there, there's just a, a really small chance that Mumbo will turn you into the washing machine form just for a quick second. I tried to look up uh, what, like what percent of a chance that is, and I, I can't seem to find a number on it, but it's quite small. I, I, I maybe see it like every like once every two playthroughs of the game, maybe. Anyway, though, enough about that. Here we are as the B form back in the heart of the forest. That's what this area is called, right? Something like that. And as you can see, we were able to leave the level as the bee. We'll take a quick glance. Yep, that's uh, that's not <laughs> something you're going to be able to jump up to as Banjo and Kazooie. And there it is. Quite quite easy with the bee form. Sorry, I just keep thinking back to me looking for that flight pad for... I, I was out here for quite a while. I just hate that feeling, you know. Being stuck sucks. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for our Witch Switch guide on Click Clock Wood, and this will be marking the end of the Witch Switch series. Whether you've been watching since the beginning of the playlist or you just dropped in to watch Click Clock Wood, I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And with that, I'll go out by saying that I do hope you join me for another walkthrough sometime in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.